Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, and it's nice to be back here shaving. Right, let's all just take a moment. Deep breath. And relax. There we go. Calm. The world's gone mad. But let's just have a little bit of calm for a couple of minutes. The weather outside, not very nice here. Hope it's nicer where you are. We'll just have a shave. Right, okay, good to see you. Um, right, let me show you the soap. As it's quite close to Christmas, uh, less than two weeks, uh, I'm going to use Black Ship Grooming Christmas Cannons. Uh, very kindly sent to me from Ernie Rocha. Thank you, Ernie. I really appreciate that. Uh, the ingredients are there for Black Ship Grooming. You can have a look at that. And this, the scent on this is fresh fallen snow mixed with cranberries, ozone, pine and juniper to make this a holiday favourite. Uh, there it is there. You can just read that. Yeah, so Black Ship Grooming. Kelly Hogan. There's the soap. Brand new. It's, it's a it's a light scent. I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the ozone. <laughs> I'm getting the. Uh, it's a little bit of fruity with the cranberries and pine. It's not a strong scent, but it's just nice. I like it. Right. So that's the soap uh, for Christmas. Christmas time. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Uh, the brush. This is snowflakes. Look, polka dots. Uh, this is the IC shaving brushes. KP, K, sorry, KSPD2. Uh, it has a spotty bottom. Uh, it's the Kevy Shaves Polka Dot 2. There is a Kevy Shaves Polka Dot 1. That's a white brush with black polka dots. This is black with white. Made for me by Arthur Lamb and Ian Crichton. Uh, Ian of IC Shaving Brushes. Uh, and it's a tuxedo knot in, in there. Uh, I think it's a 24 millimeter. Yeah, custom made. Beautiful, I love it, love it. Right, let me show you the razor. A new razor from Glable, <laughs> I can't talk today. Glabel Shave Club, Glabel, <laughs> uh, Global Shave Club. Um, so thank you Sheldon for sending this. Uh, it comes in this nice box, presentation box. Uh, you open it here and it says, for the special you. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I don't think every I don't think everyone's box says that. I think it's just mine. <laughs> uh, so here's the razor here. This is the Java Latte. Uh, you've probably seen a few other YouTubers review it. Um, yeah, so this is it here. Uh, there it is. Three piece razor comes apart like that. There's the head there, top cap. Yeah, all very nice. Now this is made from Noble Brass. Uh, and Noble Brass is a, uh, it's tarnish resistant, so it won't tarnish. A lot of uh, brass razors, you get the, the uh, patina and stuff like that. I really like the look of this. Um, it has nice snarling. Actually, let me show you the spec sheets uh, from Global Shave, and then you can take a look at some pictures that I've taken, uh, close-ups, and uh, show you the razor. So that's the razor there. Here it is. Yeah, very nice. Um, nicely made. Good weight to it and I like the knurling. Right, so this razor comes with a pack of blades, which I'm going to use. Uh, these are Gememi blades, Gememi blue blades, made in PRC, which is People Republic of China. So I'm going to give them a go. Why not? It's a new blade. If, it's, uh, if it doesn't work out, but Sheldon has told me that these are uh, quite smooth, so yeah, I'll give them a go. Why not? How are you doing? How's your uh, Christmas holiday plans? Uh, right, here's the blade. 
there's the pocket there and the blade packaging similar yeah it says on here super platinum double wrapped which is good so it says on the wrapper super platinum and it says on the blade super stainless <laughs> so is it platinum or is it stainless I don't know but it's a nice blade yeah double wrapped two wrappers um, Jememi or Jemim Jememi I'm saying Jememi uh, super stainless reminds me of Jumanji remember that film that they remade with uh, I think the original was with Robin Williams. Now I have noticed on this, uh, on this base cap, can you see that there's a, a tiny little piece missing there? They maybe ran out of brass. <laughs> that actually looks like a heart shape. I wonder if that's supposed to be there. Doesn't it? That looks like a heart. Can you see that there? Just that little shape. Ah, that's so cute. I wonder if everyone's razor has that. I wonder if I'm just talking nonsense. Probably talking nonsense, Kevy. <laughs> right, I shall put the blade on there. Jamemi. Put the top cap on. Yeah, I'm not going to put a little washer on because this little bit is raised, uh, whether you can see that. So that will protect uh, when it goes on like that. Screw it down, check the blade alignment. It all looks good. Yeah, even on both sides. Very nice. Right, and absolutely zero overhang. So straight away, top marks there for that. I um, I love that in a razor. It doesn't have any blade overhang. Right, let's, uh, well, uh, we're gonna have a little quiz. Right, see if you can guess what I'm doing now. That's right, let's wet the face. <laughs> yeah, that's sorry, that's just a little joke. I always say that when uh, a lot of YouTubers, myself included, state the obvious at times, state the obvious. Right, let's wet the face. There's water on the face, it means it's wet. Right, let's wet the brush. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, move this out of the way. Right, I'll just give it a little squeeze and we'll go straight into this. Christmas Cannons from Black Ship Grooming. Look at that, easy to lather straight away. Right, let's load this brush up. Polka dot brush. Yeah, did I tell you about this brush? Uh, Arthur Lamb, Ian Crichton made it, right? But before they made it, I contacted a, a brush maker very well-known brush maker. I'm not going to say who it was. Don't want to damage their reputation any. Uh, and I contacted them and said, can you make me a polka dot handle shaving brush? And uh, they got back to me and said, nah. Too much, too much work involved. It costs lots of money. It's really complicated to be able to do it. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to do it in case I messed it up. I, can you do it though? Mm, yeah, I think I can, but it's going to be really complicated. And so I explained that to uh, Arthur and Ian, and Arthur's little wheels got turning. Right, how can we design this brush for Kevy? And they got onto it, and this is the result with the polka dots. So there you go. Don't give up. If you want some in, don't give up. Right, I'm going to take what's left in this puck here. and just spread it on. And this will act as a kind of pre-shave. A pre-shave, pre-shave. i tell you what, that looks good enough <laughs> as it is. It's a nice scent, that. Christmas cannons. Black ship grooming soaps are really good. I love the labels. Look at that. All of them have a, a kind of pirate theme. So just, they just have nice, nice scents. 
they're not overly strong, but they're a great blend. Yeah, it just smells really fresh. It's not like, um, although it's called Christmas can, is it? It's not like it doesn't smell too much of pine or, you know, some of these Christmas ones are a really spicy cinnamon. This one isn't like that. We're just adding some water to the brush. Yeah, I think you can get this uh, soap in the UK now from, uh, I think there's a couple of vendors carrying it. I'll put links in the description. Yeah, great brush, great soap. More water. Right, I'll show you what I do. I'll show you what I do when I put water in the brush, right? So I'm doing this and then I get my chin, okay? I get my chin and I do that. So there's, see there's a little hole in there. And I just fill that with water. You probably can't see that. Can you see that? Pardon me. Right, so that's got water in it, so then I just add it. Like that. Right, let's just uh, listen to the lather. More water. Hold. Fill it with water. How many people are saying, oh my goodness, Kevy, I could have had 16 passes done by the time you've laughed. <laughs> well, that's up to you. Yeah, look, it's getting a nice uh, shine on it now. Which is what I want. Oh, look, dripping off the brush here. That's amazing. <laughs> right, let me just Mmm, tastes like Christmas. How is your uh, Christmas plans going there? Your Christmas shopping? Have you got gifts for everyone that you need to get gifts for? Oh, you bought yourself another razor uh, and another brush. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, lots of uh, partners waking up on Christmas morning. What did you get me, honey? Uh, I got you this brush and a razor. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> right, look at that brush. Absolutely chock full of soap. Beautiful. Right, let's get that uh, cleaned up a little bit. Let's get rid of that. Look at this. <laughs> I'm like a child. Give you like a petulant child. No, I'm not! <laughs> yes, you are. Excellent child who has to have their own way all the time, Kevin. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not shaving, I'm going up. <laughs> yeah, can you tell I've been away for quite a while? It's been. <laughs> right, that looks good. Right, let's uh, get some heat in this razor and blade. Ah. <sighs> We'll get to shaving. 
eventually. Right, here we go with the Java Latte with the <laughs> Jamemi blade. Jamanji blade, Jamemi. Right, here we go. Right, so um, Global Shave Club say that the uh, Merca 34C is its level of aggression is 5 out of 10. This is uh, 6 out of 10. They're, that's their claim. And I would say that's pretty much spot on. Yeah, this head is uh, designed or it's a take on the Edwin Jagger D89, but the base plate is much flatter. You see that? The base to give it more efficiency. Great feedback from it and no overhang, so don't worry about going around the ears or the nose. I like, I really like the look of this razor. It's not, you know, I, I'm not a fan of brass razor, but this looks good because uh, it's not going to patina. It's kind of got that age look to it already, which I like. It kind of looks like um, gunmetal brass. If that makes sense. Tell you what, that's a good blade. Feels nice, nice and sharp. And it's uh, doing its job. Doesn't feel harsh or anything. Um, in any way. Feels pretty smooth. Yeah, nice handle on this, good knurling, it's not, it's not slippy, good grip on it. Um, yeah, you can, easy to get under the nose, nice uh, slim profile, which is good. Right, first pass. Oh. Right, feels great. Let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. I'm rinsing with warm water. Someone asked me about a cold water shave, but the weather here in Scotland is crap. Um, and it's it's cold, and I, I, especially in the winter time, I enjoy shaving with hot water. So uh, I'm gonna rinse with hot water. I'll see you for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, did it. Notice I got the wig, the wig redone. Yeah, I got a new one made. Yeah, notice there's a little. I don't know if that's a little pimple or spot, whatever you call it. Someone said, well, why do you call it spot? It's a pimple. Okay, it's a pimple then. Right, back to this brush. Right, I'm going to say this now, Black Ship Grooming are one of the most underrated soaps out there. Um, I can just feel that the quality of this lather is absolutely excellent. Really, really good. Yeah, excellent, really. You can see there it's nice and dense, nice and dense lather. It's creamy, it's slick. Great, right. Second pass with the Java Latte from Global Shave with the Jamemi Blade. Listen to that. Mm. 
Nice. Does it feel? Uh, aggressive in any way? I would say it's mid, mid aggression. Slightly, uh, slightly more than the 34C and the D89. Yeah, look a little spot there. Uh, yeah, slightly more aggressive. But still comfortable. I love the weight of it. I love the weight of this razor. And the, uh, the longer handle. Feel a little weeper there. Going across the grain here. Yeah, look. Couple of little dots here. Nothing to, they're not cut, they're just little weepers. I'll get the Allen block, we'll sort that out. That's so be slick. Right, let me rinse, so I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, yeah, yeah, a couple little dots here. Can't get much closer than blood. I'm just gonna dip that under the tap. Excellent, excellent lather. Nice scent, it's not strong. Probably about a four or five, but it's just pleasant, just pleasant scent. Right, to pass with the Java Latte against the growth of the hair. Listen to that. Yeah, very light touch. I'm never sure about, um, some people say uh, you should never use a new blade in a new razor. You should always use um, a blade that you know. Uh, I don't mind. It's good to try new blades. Great feedback.
Yeah, look, weepers. Weepers, weepers. Maybe it is the blade. <laughs> Or maybe it's my soft Scottish skin. Right, three passes done. Yeah, look, there are a couple of dots. They're just little surface dots. Right, let's have a quick rinse and a feel about. Yes. A little bit there. And a little bit there. Just on this. The usual spots. Actually that jawline feels really smooth for once, which is good. Yeah, so if you're looking to step up from a, a 34C or a DA to 9, you're looking for a little bit more um, efficiency, shall we say, in the razor. This might be the one for you. Yeah, there's a touch, a tiny bit there. Just a very light touch. Yeah, if you're new to this way of shaving, I don't recommend shaving without any soap or, um, you know, to start with. Yeah, don't do it. Right, let's get the, uh, let's get the album. Album block. We'll see what's what. Quick rinse. We'll wet the alum. Right. Yeah, there's a bit of feedback down here. This is where these little dots are, but um Yeah, down here too on the neck. It's not really bad, it's just a, a little sting. Nothing on the moustache. Yeah, and the alum will uh, seal these little weepers up. And just let you know. But that was a, it's a very close shave. Right, that's good. Good, good, good. Right, what I'll do is, I'll leave this on for a couple of minutes. I'll uh, take what's left from this brush, I'll rinse this off, I'll have a little face wash with this and uh, I'll let that sit on my face and I'll clean out the rest of the gear, I'll come back for the post shave and we'll get some final thoughts. Uh, if, you've not, if you don't do a face wash, try it. You know, look, there's a lot of lather left in that brush, don't just rinse it down the sink. Try, um, just scoop it out, scoop it out the knot. <coughs> have a little face wash with it and just leave it on as you clean your gear out or whatever for a couple of minutes, then rinse it off and uh, your face will thank you for it. Right, I'll see you for the post shave in two seconds. Very close shave, very close. Right, on to the post shave. I've not used this for a while. I've seen it and I thought, that goes with the Christmas colours. Uh, this is uh, Mersol Formula C. Uh, this smells like violets. Uh, if you have Wickham's Parma Violet Soap and you're looking for a splash, this is it. Uh, it's, it's just almost the exact same scent. Kind of Parma Violet. 
just a splash of that and Mersol, good stuff, Spanish aftershave. Nice little burn, which is what I like. Yeah, it doesn't stick around long, but it's good for cleansing the face after a shave. There we go, nice. And I'm gonna finish it off with uh, something I've not used for a long time either. Uh, Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, 0% alcohol. So uh, this shouldn't burn you, just that much. Yeah, smells great. Very close, close, close shave. Right, let's put the lid back on the Nivea. Above in. Good, there we go. A nice, uh, relaxing shave. <laughs> I hope it was relaxing for you guys watching. <laughs> Don't know why I made that face there. Right, let me show you what we've used again uh, today in today's shave. The brush, fantastic. Black and white polka dot, KSPD2, Kevy Shaves polka dot 2. Uh, this is made by Arthur Lamb and Ian Ian Crichton, Icy Shaving Brushes, a custom made brush, only one in the world. Beautiful, beautiful brush uh, with a 24mm tuxedo knot. Love it. The soap was Black Ship Grooming Christmas Cannons. Uh, great soap. Holiday season soap. It's, uh, it doesn't smell of like a spicy Christmas scent. It's just a nice, clean, fresh, uh, scent. Fresh fallen snow with cranberries, ozone, pine and juniper to make this a holiday favourite. Yeah, there it is. There. All cleaned out. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, I've said it, I said it in the shave, Black Ship Grooming, one of the most underrated soaps out there. Definitely the quality of the lather is superb. Uh, easy to lather, nice and slick, cushiony, protective. Great, what's not to like. The razor, the Global Shave Club Java Latte. I really like this. Razor. Um, no overhang on the blade, which is great for me. I love that. Uh, they say it's just a step up from the Merca 34C. Yeah, I would probably say that's right. Maybe a little bit more aggressive for me. Uh, it might have been the blade, I don't know, a new blade I've been, I was uh, using in there, uh, which was the Jamemi uh, blade, made in China. Um, a very sharp blade. It feels like a feather, like feather sharp. Um, but it's smooth. It does feel smooth. But I need to use it, and I need to use the them blades in another razor. Try them in different razors, stuff like that. That's the only way to to find out if they're good. But very sharp, a sharp, sharp blade. Uh, but a good blade. Yeah, I like it. It was good in this razor, as you can see. Yeah, a few. It caused me a few little weepers down here, but the Allen block sorted that out. Uh, there's the Allen block. There we used that. Three passes, pickups, allen block, rinsed off, post shave was Mersol C, which is a violet scent. Very good, good stuff. And finished it off with Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And there we'll have it. There's the shave. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah, I like this razor. Um, it's just a little bit different, you know, with that, uh, what did I say it's called? Noble Brass. Yeah, it's just that little bit different. But I'll put links for everything in the description. Uh, and if you want to go and check them out, have a look. Uh, decide if you want to buy anything or uh, try stuff. Yeah, you can. All the links will be there if I can find links for them. Uh, yeah, there's the wrapper for the blade. Okay, that's uh, all for me for today. Uh, getting close to Christmas, so there'll be uh, hopefully another couple of shaves before that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to them. I've got new stuff to show you, uh, a couple of new razors that are for Christmas, but um, well, you've kind of seen them before, but you haven't seen them before. Ooh, what is that mean, Kevin? Well, that's a surprise. Um, 
Yeah, so I hope everyone's behaving or you'll be on the naughty list. Um, yeah, and you won't get anything for Christmas. You'll get a cartridge razor. <laughs> and you'll be waking up on Christmas morning. Yeah, what did you get me? Oh, Mach 3. Oh, God, no. Uh, no, there's room out there for every, everything. Razors are good. If you want to shave with a cartridge razor, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, they work. Uh, right, okay. I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Uh, enjoy life. And I'll see you soon.